All right, now let's talk about what China is up to. China may be accelerating its efforts to develop a nuclear arsenal. This is according to a new report released by the Pentagon, which says that China is doing this as part of its ongoing efforts to modernize and revamp its fighting forces in order to match American military capabilities. Now, the assessment from the Pentagon says that China is estimated to have more than 500 operational nuclear warheads as of May. Furthermore, the figure may rise to over 1,000 by 2030. The report says that compared to the PLA's nuclear modernization efforts a decade ago, current efforts dwarf previous attempts in both scale and complexity. Now, here is a brief of what the Pentagon report entails regarding China's nuclear programs. First, the PRC is expanding the number of its land, sea and air-based nuclear delivery platforms. This comes as they invest and construct the infrastructure necessary to support further expansion of its nuclear forces. Second, let me tell you, the PRC will probably use its new fast breeder reactors and reprocessing facilities to produce plutonium for its nuclear weapons program. Now, a breeder reactor is a nuclear reactor that generates more, more material than it consumes. Third, the PRC has probably completed the construction of its three new solid propellant silo or launch fields in 2022. And fourth, Beijing had probably completed the construction of, the, of three new clusters of missile sites in 2022. Now, these fields include at least 300 new intercontinental ballistic missiles, ICBMs. ICBMs are ballistic missiles with a range greater than 5,500 kilometers. Now, the report further predicts that over the next decade, China will continue to rapidly modernize, diversify and expand its nuclear forces. China is the world's second largest defense spender and it also announced a planned budget for the year which puts defense spending at $225 billion in, and this was announced in March this year. According to the draft budget announced in March, defense spending could see a 7.2% increase in the coming year. The report comes after a year of mounting tensions in the Taiwan Strait. Despite the growing number of Chinese nuclear weapons, they are still much lower than what Russia and the United States have. But according to the Federation of American Scientists, the United States has a stockpile of about 3,700 nuclear warheads, of which roughly 1,419 strategic nuclear warheads were deployed. While Russia has a stockpile of 4,489 nuclear warheads, of which roughly 15, 1,550 nuclear weapons have been deployed.